Good morning, everybody. We're celebrating a decade of Positively Tampa Bay this year with our Game Changers campaign. Since January, we've introduced you to a new Game Changer each month with specially produced videos. We started with PTB's very first guest in 2008, Maruchi Asorin Blanco of Tampa. Then February was Bill Gray of Plant City. In March was Andrew Lumish of Land O'Lakes. There he is, Andrew Lumish, known as a good cemeterian. And this morning, we proudly present Julie Weintraub of Clearwater as our Positively Tampa Bay Game Changer of April. It was nine years ago this month that we aired our first primetime special on domestic violence. And over the years, Julie at Hands Across the Bay has helped many of the survivors that we've interviewed. Also here this morning, we have Sue Bedry of the Tampa Bay Times Newspaper and Education Program. Thank you, ladies, for coming in. And Julie, congratulations on being our game changer. Thank you so much for all of your help of so many families. Um, but you also have a big award that's coming up in the state capitol. Tell our viewers about that. Well, this was just amazing. Uh, they uh, awarded me with, with the um, victim advocate for the state of Florida. I believe there is three, so we're one of the three. Mm -hmm. So we'll be going to the capitol um, uh, in April 11th to uh, be there. And Melissa Dome is going to be speaking. And uh, so this is really special for us in our area and Absolutely. it's a huge um, uh, honor and uh, the former state attorney Mark Ober and uh, Pam Bondi will be there and, and I think Governor um, That's Scott right. so it's, it's going to be exciting we're so excited about amazing. that. amazing great moment for you Thank and also you. for Tampa Bay survivors That's who right. have been helped by your organization. Yes. One of the things that you are very passionate about is teen dating abuse awareness right. and prevention. Um, we're holding the latest edition that was made in partnership with the Tampa Bay Times. What's the most important thing you want parents to know about talking to their kids about teen dating abuse awareness? We just wanna make sure that you start the conversation and that we talk about these things and let them know that violence has no place in our homes. Mm -hmm. This is not something that should be happening. And we thought this was an amazing way to directly get this information of what signs to look for. Look for and mm -hmm. that's what Melissa tries to get out. If I would have known this, maybe it would have changed my outcome. So I think there's just under 90,000 copies of this um, sponsored by Hands Across the Bay. We partner with Tampa Bay Times and um, ABC Action News and these will be directly going to schools mm -hmm. all across our area. And Sue, so we were talking about how teachers ask for this so much because it's such a hard topic. They do. This is such a hard topic for teachers and school personnel to talk about. Many of them aren't trained, but um, you know, specifically in talking about dating violence or dating abuse or domestic abuse, but kids come to them. Um, and this gives them a tool where they can educate themselves and then they can pass it along to kids so that they can learn the warning signs of abuse and uh, hopefully protect themselves and build some healthy relationships. Yes. Well, thank you both and congratulations. Thank you for what you're doing to help our folks in our community. Here's the information on your screen. If you would like to request your copy of this NIE edition or request a speaker from Hands Across the Bay, you can visit them online or you can call them directly at 727-573-7720.